Hi, this is Dr. E. Sosa with Dr. E. Fitness TV. I am here with a two-time survivor, yes. Naya, yes. and her supporter, Eric. her husband. How are you doing today? All is well. How are you? Well, thanks. This is a great event, and I know you're supporting this event. Absolutely. So, absolutely. how are you guys supporting this event today? Well, Sharessa, um, you know, they always bring the, anything type of awareness with breast cancer, and we want to be a part of it. It's all about awareness. And, um, you know, my husband, same thing. He's always about helping the community and just bringing awareness. How, how did your story affect helping and being part of this? Can you kind of give us a little bit about what you went through? Sure. I was 27 years old when I was first diagnosed. I, I moved to Atlanta. I didn't know a soul here, so I didn't have any type of support system. I felt alone. So I guess when I started reaching out to my local community, mm -hmm. even the church, mm -hmm. Emory had a support system as well, mm -hmm. and then I start realizing that I wasn't the only one. Mm -hmm. And so after that, it was more or less I wanted to feel like I could give that same to somebody else who could be feeling the exact same way. Because when you're 27, I mean, who thinks about having cancer? I mean, are you serious? But 37, I was better prepared because that's when I knew that I wanted to actively go out there and help people. And Ashley, and Ashley, well, Ashley charged up pink was the first time her talking about it. Yes. It was the first time her talking about it. And when she finally opened up, that's when she felt that, okay, well, this is the right thing to do. Now she can actually reach out to younger girls who who probably scared, too, to talk about it and stuff. So this was actually her first event that she opened up about I it. Did. I did. I was ashamed. I, I mean, I was really ashamed. It, it shouldn't be, but I t tend to find people are ashamed of that. Yeah, I did, because I'm always known as being boss lady, always taking care of business. Bam, bam, bam. Yes, and so when I was going through treatment and you lose your hair and you're, you're losing the weight... I just felt like I wasn't myself. So when I turned 37, we started a movement called Too Fabulous for Cancer. Mm -hmm. And what we do is we help cancer patients still look good during the process. But well, you know what? You are still boss lady. Doing this is boss. Absolutely. Absolutely. And as a supporter, because surviving it is one mm -hmm. thing, but being there with someone you love, how is that? How is I that? Mean, just having that extra support because they're not going to always be strong. It's going to be times when they're down. So you have to be there to give them that support and talk to them. It's going to be all right. Somebody just tap, tap on them, so it's going to be all right. And when, when they hear that, they know that they got people that's going to support them. And they feel better. That's exactly what mm -hmm. he did. That's exactly what he did. And um, how can we follow you to support you and what you're doing to support other people? That's important. Instagram, Facebook. Yes, uh, fa Facebook. Um, I started an organization, Boss Lady United. Uh -huh. So you can find me. I'm Boss Lady Inc. on Instagram. Mm -hmm. I'm Too Fabulous for Cancer on Instagram. Oh, you are. Uh, yeah, and then um, you can go to BossLadyUnited.com as well. Okay. You look fabulous. Thank you. You look good. I Thank love you. <laughs> this is Dr. E Fitness. I'm here with this beautiful couple. Thank you. Stay tuned. We love you. Yes. <laughs>